Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this is part two of your best March Bolo. So I invited my Facebook members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which is here. I think we're getting close to like 56,000 members, which is absolutely crazy. Um, if you're not a member, um, I'd love for you to go and join. It is free. It's a free Facebook group. And we talk about Bolo items, but any reseller questions and discussion is welcome. So come on over and join. The link is down in the description. So in this video, again, I invited members to share their best March Bolo. I posted this screenshot and what you do is you leave a comment and you tell me where you got it, what you paid for it and what it sold for in the comments. And then I create these videos and it helps everybody learn. But these are typically big money Bolos, big money items or something that has a little story behind it a unique item, maybe somebody parted something out, maybe they got it free, but just a fun educational video. So I invite you to join the group and go up to the featured section. Um, I think it's called featured or announcement section and you should see some posts. I try to keep two or three up a month. It is coming into garage sale season, so I may not be doing as many over the summer because I'm gonna be outsourcing. Um, but anyway, let's get started. I've got uh, 29 bolos coming your way. And um, again, I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, what it sold for. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. And if it is a Bolo Buddies member, I will introduce you to their channel. So if I shout out a channel, they have reseller content, definitely go check them out. Okay, so the first one. Bought at the Goodwill for $2.99. It took about two weeks to sell. I had it listed for $99.99 and took a best offer of $90. Vintage discontinued beauty products is one of my favorite things to find and sell. Okay, guys, I've had people messaging me about this and I'm going to tell you, I was told no more perfume, not even in the vintage collectibles. Some people are saying that I'm wrong, but I had another YouTuber message me. She has called eBay twice on this. So if you are going to list um, perfume, it has to be new in the packaging and from what i understand another thing i learned recently is that the ingredients have to be on it so i don't know you may be getting different info from other youtubers i'm playing it safe i removed all of my vintage perfume from ebay i'm not going to sell it on ebay because i have heard this from a friend of mine who is a youtuber who called ebay let me know in the comments what you have heard what your opinion is um, if you're willing to take a chance and sell it under collectibles, but has anybody had their item removed from eBay, um, for listing a perfume in vintage and collectibles? I know you can't put it in regular perfume. So, um, it's just the big debate right now. And if you want to know about more items that you should not be listing on eBay, I've recently put out a series. There's three parts right now. I'm going to continue that series of items to not sell on eBay that are either Vero's. Um, Facebook members have shared these items. These are actual things that have happened to actual people. So check those videos out. Tons of knowledge there. Bought at an auction for $2, sold for $113. It's a 1930s funeral home accounting book. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. That, that's different. Never seen that one. That one's unexpected. Wow. Auction style. $113.50. Okay. Picked up at Habitat for Humanity for $15. Accepted best offer and shipped through Global Shipping Program to China. Oh my goodness. $650 this sold for. It is a 1880s Royal Worch Worcester hand-painted floral butterfly blush ivory and gold so what i'm doing is i'm reading from my computer so you see me looking over here that's why 
if you watch these videos all the time, you kind of know how it works, but uh, so what did she pay for that? 15 bucks. Wow. Also found at Habitat for Humanity was in a basket of loose, small toys. Oh my goodness. Without a price. They sold it to me for 50 cents. Had three offers and then sold at full price within an hour of listing. The hat had some damage too, which I disclosed, of course. Vintage 1993 TMNT, which is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hot spot action figure, rare Dalmatian hot spot, $295. Are you kidding me right now? That is amazing. I get really excited about bolos. All right. Um, if you don't know, a bolo is an item to be on lookout for. Okay, that's what bolo stands for. I get that question all the time in my Facebook group. What's a bolo? And I'm like, should I be like, telling people that more often. All right. The Bible was mailed to my great grandmother's house in 1954 for her brother to pick up, but he never picked it up. The box was opened, but the Bible was never used. The last copyright date was 1942. I love the stories. Not sure if the person paid this much because it was unused Bible or because of the mailbox. Still um, with the stamps from 1954, the comps for this book are only around 30 or 40 dollars i decided because of the box from 1954 i was going to price it high and see what happened it sold in less than a month for 99 dollars and 92 cents plus shipping that's awesome and it is a leather bible red leather red letter masonic edition unused with original mailed box from 1954 Found at the bins, so paid maybe $2. Sold in less than 48 hours. New Brooks Brothers boxer shorts, so they're still sealed. I was trying to get my 0.5 pounds, so I would be at 40 pounds for cheaper pound rate, and they had just brought these out. People were passing them by, and I grabbed them not knowing comps. Threw in the buggy and left. Looked up comps and was stunned. Sell-through rate is awesome. So it's 5 Packs of Brooks Brothers undies, boxer shorts, $99.99 plus shipping. So I keep hearing people say when they go to the bins and they buy per pound, if they um, are over a certain amount of weight that they get a discount. I don't think my bins does that. Let me know if yours does. Oh boy. Vori, V-U-O-R-I. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Women's pants. Bought at the bins for a dollar. Sold in less than 48, uh, 48 hours. Sell-through rate is super high. So I guess these sell really quick. And they sold on Poshmark for $40. Land of Nod, Fairy Plush. I just listed a Land of Nod the other day. It's my first Land of Nod. Mine is like a little elephant. Um, I couldn't find any like it. So I've got it priced kind of high. Um, but this one, she sold in two days for $35. And she paid $1.50 for it cute little uh oops it's over here I'm so used to sitting I'm doing this backwards let me know do you guys like it with me on this side or me over there oh all right the seven clad wolf saucepan was three dollars and took a year to sell but it sold for a hundred and ten dollars so Tell me in the comments, are you okay with long tail items? I totally am okay with long tail items if I can get a return like that. The antique uh, bells cost $2, took four days to sell, and those sold for $70. Very cool. Buyer paid shipping. The Bible was $6. It's a Thompson reference style Bible in Spanish. And it took 10 days to sell. And it sold for $85 plus shipping. And the master's hat was about 50 cents and took a week to sell. And it sold for $30 uh, plus shipping. So super fast sales. Very, very cool. Sold a vintage Mattel 1989 PJ Sparkles Pet Sparklins Pink Bunny. The star on her outfit glows in the dark. I bought it at uh, Goodwill Online for $37 total, which included shipping. 
it sold for $200 free shipping. I paid up, but I knew she was special. Um, there was a series of pets that were made for the doll, PJ Sparkles, which sell for a high price. I've never seen this one, so that is definitely good to know. Mr. Christmas Santa's Musical Toy Chest, an estate sale find, sold for full asking price of $115. I did pay up for it at $20, but it paid off. Yeah, Vintage Mr. Christmas is a great buy. Vintage Dial Caliper, a state fine, paid $2.50 for this. Don't know what it does, but it sold almost instant, instantly for full price of $52. How many of you guys buy things and you don't know what it does, but you think it looks cool and it ends up being a bolo? Uh, I do. <laughs> All right. Picked up at Goodwill for $9, oh my goodness, $9.99, sold for full asking price. It's a Louis Vuitton Dapper Dan tracksuit monogram, $279.99. Now, I know that like the purses and stuff, there's like knockoffs. I don't know how it is with clothing, but wow, that is really cool. What a great find, 10 bucks. Paid $2.99 at the Goodwill. Sold for full asking price of $225. I want to go to his Goodwill. Both of those items are from the same person. And wow. Uh, Shalimar Guerlain Paris Perfumed Dusting Powder. $225. Here's another one from him. $0.99 cents at the Goodwill. Really? Like... These Goodwill prices are amazing. Sold for full asking price. It is a Jim Shore Disney tradition skunks. Love is in the air. Bambi. $115. Jim Shore is most of the time a bolo. Definitely if you see Jim Shore, look it up. I bought a box of about 25 of these for $30 last summer. This is the only one I listed so far. Five to seven of them are in this price range. The rest are $12 to $25. Not a bad investment. It is uh, TSR Dungeon Magazine number 62. So it's a magazine. Magazines. Can you list magazines media mail? If they have advertisements, the answer is no. So nothing with advertisements can go media mail if you don't know that. Blank media cannot go media mail. A lot of people don't know that, so I thought I would throw that out there. Purchased at the Salvation Army for $7.99, sold in about two months. I sent an offer to a liker, um, but I had it originally priced at $139. Buyer paid $114.55 plus shipping. Um, it's a hard to find Cor Korok tray, Korok, but it's got the macaws, the birds, really cool piece. Hi, Bolo Buddies. This is Yvonne, otherwise known as Mom Knows Treasures. I purchased this at the Salvation Army for about $7.99, and I sold it in a couple of months for $114.55. So most of these are bread and butters, but this one was a Bolo. Woohoo! Thank you. Purchased at a yard sale for $2.50. This is the second one I sold. They had stacks of them, but I only bought two. This one comes from Mom's Nose Treasures, and this is her eBay store. She is a Bolo Buddies member. The buyer was all in for $118. Um, it's a stunning vintage uh, Tiffany style Capiz shell lampshade. Uh, that would be probably not fun to ship, but it sold for $55.95 plus shipping. Paid $15 at a yard sale and uh, celebration, I'm not sure, sold in less than two weeks for $115 plus shipping. They just moved into the house. F.I. Hmm. Uh, probably multi-million dollar home and they said this TV was mounted to the wall and the previous owner said it was the gem of the house. Uh, you gotta love that. Um, so it's an old TV with a VCR TV combo. I knew this was something special, paid $7 at Value Village, which is a thrift store. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, uh, Carol, who is Butterfly Hustles on YouTube. She has an awesome channel. Check it out here. Okay, this cottagecore dress, it's by Patra. 
and she sold this best offer of $100. This is a vintage pair of salt and pepper shakers from Disneyland. I got them in a lot of salt and pepper shakers from YouTube auction Picky Nikki. It averaged out to cost of goods of one set was probably about $4 shipped. And she sold this for $74.99. This is what it looks like. Paid $5.99 for all three at Goodwill. Took, a, took about a week and sold for full asking price plus buyer paid shipping. Williams Sonoma Farmer's Market Salad Plates. Set of three discontinued. Sold for $103.99 plus shipping. That's awesome. Paid 93 cents at a local Humane Society thrift. Sold auction style. It is a vintage Disney 1950s Evan K. Shaw rare Bruno Cinderella's dog, not Pluto. Wow, I thought it was Pluto. $105.50 plus shipping. That is cool. Absolutely astonished what this unassuming lot of buttons and such ended up going for. We received a huge collection of pinback buttons and similar items for free for helping a lady clean her home as she downsized. I figured putting a bunch of like items together would be a good idea. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, this makes me wonder what they were worth. Like is a collector buying this or did a reseller buy this? University of Illinois Fighting Chief um, Large Lot Buttons and Keychains sold auction style for $306.69. Definitely a good thing they auctioned that off and didn't just undersell it. Purchased at the Goodwill for $5.99, sold for $125 in about two weeks, had it listed for $143 and took an offer. Vintage Faber Brothers Chrome Craft Three Arm Frosted Glass Lotus Chrome candy candle candy i don't know what that means i bought this at a goodwill in a tote full of parts and pieces i paid four dollars and 99 cents for the whole tote and this sold for 129.99 plus shipping schley Ryer retired 2004 ritterberg medieval knights castle set so i don't know if it's complete or if this is just parts but, um, or maybe it was just in a parts and pieces lot and they were able to put it together. So somebody put, I had this set before, but missing a good bit. So sold each part individually. Most of the Chalet medieval fantasy stuff does great, especially if it's discontinued. Paid $5 at Salvation Army, sold in 24 days, took a best offer of 85 New Mison, M-A-I-S-O-N, Burger, Lamp Burger, white butterfly poppy print lamp. So it's a lamp. There it is. This one comes from Mom's Nose Treasures. She purchased on Poshmark for $19, including shipping. Flipped it on eBay in about a month. Seller bought when it was 20% off, so it sold for $59.99 plus shipping. So she sourced it on Poshmark and sold it on eBay. Okay. That was 29 Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you made it to the end of the video, let's try that again. If you made it to the end of the video, please put an emoji of an owl. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>